sure you don't want to do the intro again today? Like, nah, I kind of we'll messed take, it we'll, up last time. Now nah, we'll take it in turns. All right, all right, I got this. It's only fair. Don't mess up. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Hey guys, it's the Gorinator here, and welcome to the BritBox podcast. The I should have said the six... Max, you jinxed me, my you friend. You messed it up! I forgot the episode oh. bit before the BritBox bit. Anyway, we'll roll with it. Episode 16, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> welcome back to another episode. The home of Two Bridges Lads discussing all sorts of a spot of tea and a slice of cake. How are you doing, Max? You alright? Uh, I'm okay. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm alright. I'm all, not too bad, as as usual. As usual. As usual. Um, So yeah, how's, how's your week been? Uh, okay. I was ill yesterday, so uh, no college for me. Uh, it's all right. No college. Uh, I miss college. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> you miss college. Fair play. You got a uh, day off. Yeah. Was it a whole day that you exactly. missed? Or was it just like a half yep, day? I missed, all right, I missed nice. the whole day. No, because I was ill, so I didn't go in. Yeah, I know, but like, I was, oh, right, I've no, seen no, how I much see time you got off. Oh, yeah. Well, it's finished, good timing. I finished slightly early, but not by much. It would still be a technically a full day. Well, not quite, but you know. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah. How, how was your week? Um, it was okay. Few. Th- <laughs> you do you remember I text you? Yeah. Um, teasing you about the the story oh, yeah. to come on the episode. I just remembered some stuff I did in the week. All right, go for and... it. Go for it. You don't oh, usually I have a story, so I'm excited today. today. We're, we're being treated, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I have. I guess I have two. I guess I could say. Uh, right. First one, on Saturday, didn't have to go into work, thankfully. My dad was ill, so he didn't take me in, so I got the day off. Plus, it was counted as holiday, so I got paid for it, which is <laughs> nice. always nice. But um, I finally went and saw Star Wars. Oh, yeah? What, what did you think of it? it was fucking amazing! <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. It was awesome. So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, because, you know, some people may not have seen Star Wars yet. Yeah, like, my, like myself, yeah. <laughs> but you need to go watch it. It's awesome. I was going to say, you're... where's my invite, mate? Where's my I'm invite so... to this? I'm sorry, I thought you were working or something. Or you were busy <laughs> making YouTube videos. I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, comprehend, you know, the... It's uh, all right. I forgive you. You should. I, f- I forgive you. <laughs> so, yeah. You're very welcome. It was good then. So, yeah. Sh- should I go see it? Should I... Um, Is I it mean... worth it? Are you a biggish Star Wars fan, or I wouldn't say I was a big Star Wars fan. Great. Like they're cool movies, but I, mean, I'm not... I, I would I would go watch it. You've seen all the others, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well then, I'd I'd go watch it. I think you'd like it. It's by J.J. Abrams. Surprisingly, not that many lens flares. I was <laughs> looking out for shit. them. I know, right? Maybe that's why it's so good. There's just not that many lenses. You can actually see the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you can see things. Yeah, it was it was uh, pretty good. So yeah, nice. I, I'd recommend it. I would recommend it. And, uh, I mean, the second story was kind of like, it's kind of like a weird thing. It's nothing that major. But basically, basically, right? Basically, right. I was walking back, uh, I think on a Thursday, or maybe it was on a, no, was it a Thursday? Maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. a track of time already, Max. Um, <laughs> Brain is degrading <laughs> with old age. And um, me and my friend Gus were walking back, uh, uh, from town, and we were still in town. We were walking back to college, and uh, I don't know if you know. Well, basically, you know, in where where we go to college, yeah, you know, the town. Mm-hmm. Uh, p- on near the top of it, there's like this uh park- parking lot, and you know, there's like a road that could go up into the town bit. Yeah, basically, it's like you know where the market stalls are at the top of town near McDonald's. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sort of like down from there. All right, and there's this like parking lot, but there's this little uh like road you can go up to go park further up. So basically, it's a two way uh thingy, but it's only one lane. Okay. So like cars can go down, cars can go up, bloody blah blah. So basically, yeah. what happened? Me and uh, my friend were walking down, and this van for disabled people, I think. I'm pretty sure it was for disabled people. Was driving down just because it had the wheelchair thing on, so I, I presumed it was. Yeah. Disabled. I don't think there was anyone in it. Uh, was driving down, you know, just casually, and then on the other side, this um woman in a like a uh, a four by four BMW drove up, and of course, because there's only one lane, neither of them can go either side. No, can fit. Yeah. Stopping them from doing. It. So they're both stuck there, and technically the van has right of way because it's coming down. But this woman wouldn't move at all. Like so you stubborn. could see, you could see her shaking her head. She just wasn't. <laughs> it's like nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. 
da, hello? Is it me? <laughs> no, the cool well the cool hasn't dropped, but I think I think we lost Max. Suspense until the story continues. To be continued, two ninety nine, and the story continues soon. I promise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's all right. Back. I informed them. I said it's a bit of suspense until it continues. So yeah, this this stubborn bitch was yeah, was not so, moving. So she wasn't moving, and in the end, the uh, disabled van driver, well, for the disabled people, had to reverse back, and I was like, "What a bitch!" She won't move. Just, yeah. This teaches everyone. And, and it's not never. like it's any old van. It's for disabled people that exactly. need to get somewhere. And just... she wasn't. She generally wasn't moving. She was just sat there, just like. She just didn't do anything. Some people. Like, wow. Some they, people. Some, some people have no respect. No. Have respect for people, people. <laughs> have All right. respect for people, people. Yeah, good <laughs> good life advice there, Max. Yeah, there good you advice. go. Life advice. You'll get far if you get, give respect to people. Josh so, yeah. or, or Grub always says, the more people you meet, the more arseholes you find. I think that's very true. That is a great that, analogy. That's a pretty good quote. I think, I think his dad <laughs> said that to him and then he got it from his dad. But yeah. It's true. That's a great analogy. Right, going back to the kind of movie stuff. At least you talked about oh, Star yeah. Wars earlier. Wait, is Deadpool. this where we... Yes, I know. I really want to see No, this it. isn't related to the teaser story. Oh, I'll get onto okay. that in a bit. But yeah, Deadpool. Oh my God, looks so good. Does look pretty awesome. Have Only you seen the is... red trailer? The red rated trailer? The which red... is basically... It's basically a trailer with all the swearing left in. It's like the uncensored trailer. Uh, I, I don't know. I've watched a few trailers, but I think that's around Christmas. How long ago did it come out? Uh, it was quite. A, it was a little while back, back in 2015. It was just basically the uncensored trailer because, of course, Deadpool is very rude. So yeah. it's the uncensored version. It's pretty. It's hilarious. I, I may not have it. seen that. I'll, I'll have to look it up. Definitely watch it. Just don't yeah. Think... The most annoying thing that me and it's my friends are having. Yeah, it's an 18. So yeah. we can't go in the cinema to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Got, I found uh, out. I was like, oh. wait for it to come out on like DVD or something, or, or on watch digital it illegally. Services. Or do that. That that will work as well. <laughs> Deadpool would approve. So therefore, it should be okay. The, the advertising for that movie, though, is so funny. I don't know if you've seen some of the stuff they're doing. Yeah, I've uh, seen the... Go on. Uh, w one of the, like, poster things I've seen, just, like, the, the art advertising the movie, it was, like, displayed as, like, a Valentine's movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, like, I know. Deadpool before he's, his face is all fucked up, and then the woman. Yeah. <laughs> I, I found that yeah. pretty funny. It's, it's a trick to try and get people to go visit it in the cinema because, like... Yeah. Could Valentine's you imagine how Day. surprised like someone would be, like some kind of I don't know middle-aged yeah. woman goes to watch this romantic film by herself, and it's just like Deadpool, everybody. <laughs> that would uh, that'd be pretty funny to see her reaction. Have you seen that? It's got banned in China because it's too violent. I said, actually, really? Yeah, I'm sure there's far more violent in scenes China. than Deadpool, <laughs> but it's too rude and violent apparently. So they banned it in China. Ain't that a shame. They ban a lot of things in China. Let's, let's be real. True. They banned uh, Xboxes for quite some time, I think. They oh, banned consoles in general. In India, they banned Fallout 3, for Christ's sake. Did they actually? Yeah, because you know the cows in it, those weird cows. Oh, yeah. Because in India, Muslims have a sake, you know, cows are sacred. Yeah, they like, like yeah. this disrespects our religion. And Fallout, well, Bethesda were like, um, okay, we won't Okay, you just there. won't get the game. Yeah, then. Yeah, you won't get Fallout 3. <laughs> Sorry. That's the same with Australia, actually. They ban, like, a lot of video game stuff yeah, based on ban... violence. I, th I don't know if this ever went through, but I remember when GTA V came out, yeah. they tried to ban it. I don't know if it ever got through, though. It... I, don't, I don't think it was Australia I... as a whole. I think it was... I think it was, like, parents were trying to get this petition through to Target, yeah. which is obviously a big store yeah. in Amer uh, America and Australia, Australia, to ban to not sell the copy of the game yeah. in Australia. I was like, really? Did you see their report they did? Because they got the, the like, mums played the game, yes. apparently, and they were like, yeah, it's really bad. You have to kill people to get points. I was no, like, it wasn't just the... people. There's like, you have to kill oh, yeah. women. And it's, it's like, like that's no, you don't. That's not even the emphasis of the game. Like, There's like barely any <laughs> chill women out. characters. Seriously. <laughs> I swear to God, nearly everyone that dies in GTA that's a character are male. Fucking I don't think any females die. Feminist fox, my friend. Feminist yeah. fox. What can you do? <laughs> right. Uh, let, let's actually get onto the story. Yes. Uh, uh, the, the, I'm the, the, the big to hear. story. Okay. So basically, for like a mini college project, it wasn't marked or anything, but uh, one of our lecturers called Scott, he set Scott. up a. Um, Basically, like a little thing to work with the government to kind of advertise the 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 town area that we go to and like oh, yeah. the local businesses there and try get people to 
come to that area pretty much and you know get jobs yeah. and live there and stuff like that um so it's like basically just take pictures of like good stuff around the town um so obviously you know like a whole class of like 20 of us went to the town center which is pretty close by and we had to go take pictures and stuff and uh us us four me josh josh and tom uh weren't taking it too seriously like tom took a picture of a fucking hubcap of a that, of a car that, for god's sake that is what you want i know that, that is appeals. that's how you advertise your that local appeals. town um so yeah anyway we're taking like loads of silly photos and stuff and finally we get to the town center and there's a marks and spencers like kind of on the outside of the town center oh you were there uh, yeah and all along the wall before you walk into the town center before you go into the doors is like advertising for marks and spencers and there's a bunch of like fashion stuff uh and there's i don't know if you've seen it Max, but there's one photo of this guy like looking down like directly at the floor uh i think so anyway this picture is massive so <laughs> i came up with the idea of i'll be like tom mate why don't you stand in front of him and look straight back up at him <laughs> so i took this picture oh it was so good so funny so all three of us took a picture and suddenly this lady that kind of works there like the security team i guess like um that she walked up to us like kind of slowly uh and right after we took the picture and she's like what are you doing lads and um we're just like oh we're just taking pictures for a college project and she's like uh well i'm sorry but you can't be taking pictures of any structures in the area what and we was like um okay and she's like you know because of recent events uh we have to kind of you know uh penalize um not just one culture, but all cultures to make Hold it on. fair. Is she assuming you're a terrorist? Yes, she, I'm pretty sure she thought we we, we were possibly radicalized. Um, <laughs> you got the ISIS flag above you. Like, <laughs> not yeah, quite. We're not terrorists. No. So yeah, she. The the thing that like. Is that why you us, got kicked out of town? Yeah, the thing that shocked us the most that she she was like, we can't just um do this to one culture. We have to do it to all cultures, and we was like, whoa. So, so you're saying we don't look like terrorists, but you have to do it to us to be fair. Is, yeah, isn't that just making a racist <laughs> comment? <laughs> I, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what she's implying. So, because uh, obviously, you know, us four are white lads. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what she's implying. Anyway, so we said it obviously it's for a college project and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, okay, well, maybe you should go to the kind of HQ area where they... I don't know where they do chat shit uh, about the about the town and stuff, <laughs> chat shit and uh, <laughs> pretty much from the town centre. And uh, goes asks them for like permission. Um, so it was like, um, okay. So we started walking, uh, and then was like, you know what, guys, why don't we just go outside and go somewhere else and take pictures somewhere else? Um, but so as we were trying to walk, we walked past the area she told us to go to, and was gonna like turn off, and then. I, I realized she was following us. So I was like, oh shit, she's about oh to say something. God. As soon as I think that, she stops us. She's like, guys, this over there, you're not going to the thing. And we're just like, um, uh, <laughs> so basically she then, <laughs> really escor awkward. she then escorted us oh to the God. HQ area. She took us upstairs, um, to <laughs> the offices and stuff. I, I don't know. What, what, I don't know what they do up there. Fucking manage like, the town like, or something. No, they're probably like, um, uh customer service and stuff i guess yeah and like security and stuff so yeah they took us up there uh she said obviously we'd have to go ask permission she didn't they didn't even let us in like she went and asked the person so obviously she didn't explain it how we would have explained it like she probably just said these lads are taking photos around the town for a college project when yeah. in fact this is like a project for the government we're working with the government to advertise the town and stuff and anyway yeah she comes back she says it's a no it gives us this email address on a post-it note it's like you gotta get your lecturer to email this the thing that pissed us off the most is because obviously there's a bunch of our people in town from our college yeah she was like oh can you like round them up and kind of tell them to stop what? taking photos we're like fuck off no so we just walked back to college told our lecturer who found it pretty funny as well um i'm pretty sure he went to go get into contact with him and you know sort no, things out just like oi Oh yeah, students. what was super funny as well is as we was walking back to college, you kind of need to like wear your badge thing, your ID badge. Um, yeah, and mine yeah, was in yeah. my bag at the time, so I had to kind of stop. And I also wanted the post-it note, so I was like, oh shit, where I could put this. So I stuck it on my forehead. <laughs> Instantly, the wind takes it off. I almost lose it. I like hot leap over a wall and like swipe <laughs> oh, the air. God. Yeah, and like grab this thing just in time. Um, but yeah, that, that, was, that was a pretty eventful day. <laughs> 
No, good job, lie. Josh. You got misunderstood as a terrorist. Yeah, and they kicked you... us out of the town centre because of it. <laughs> you got. Yeah, I just, I'll go back in tomorrow and I'll find like a wanted poster. It'll just be your faces. Like, oh, <laughs> yes, Josh. You're wanted now. <laughs> Fifty pound voucher for uh, the. I'm for sorry, George. But if they're offering a fifty pound voucher of any shop, I may have to turn you. I've got to take that. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I can't refuse that. So um, yeah, that was that was pretty funny. To be <laughs> I honest, I wish I had stuff like that happen, <laughs> but no. No. Oh. Got, well, mate, I, li- I live in life on the edge. Fucking event. Getting almost. assumed as a terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> Well, great thing to have. Right. I know we're kind of overrunning on the story bit, but let's continue because I have one really funny thing that I've got to mention. So the other day I was in a Skype call with Josh and Josh and I don't really use Facebook all that much, but I guess the other two kind of do. And Grub, one one of the Josh's. (laughs) <laughs> go for it if you want man um <laughs> they sent josh put this link in chat and oh cheeky and uh, he, he was laughing his hell out of it I've, oh. I've opened it up here just to like remind myself what kind of uh <laughs> link are we talking about it's just about an here? image ab- on the anti-masturbation cross <laughs> what I don't know if you but, can see this. I'll link it in chat in case you can like. It see won't the... show me chat until after the calls ended. Oh, it won't right. let me look at chat while I'm in call. Well, there you go. But basically, it's on this Facebook page called Christian Mothers Against Masturbation, and oh, it's God. a picture of an image. It's a five-year-old, or it looks like a five-year-old, strapped to a, a foam cross to stop him <laughs> masturbating. He's five. I know. <laughs> Who does that at five years old? This is why you don't have Christian parents. But Max, this this is the selling point, my friend. Adjustable canvas straps with Velcro. Wow. Adjustable head strap incorporated into the backboard. Wow. Optional arm immobilizing accessory sides. Oh my god, I need one of these. Underboard some... for firm spread eagle position. Oh wait, no, I can see it. I lie. So these people are crucifying their child to stop them masturbating. That's Ron. What the oh hell? My... Oh, I can see it. Oh, oh you can my see god. it. Yeah. What is <laughs> What is wrong with that? So many people are tagged in this. <laughs> You're like strapping your child up to like safely train your children to keep their hands off their dangerous sin zones. <laughs> like what the pa- Papoose cross and arm immobilizer work together to safely secure a self-raping child. I, Wait, that's what I don't get. Think- they think if you masturbate, you're raping yourself. Yes, how is it rape? You're clearly giving yourself consent. Clearly. How does that work? Unless your hand has a brain of its own, which I highly doubt. Maybe they think you're possessed when you masturbate. <laughs> like, but the, this is the weird that stuff, is, That's man. some form of torture right there. I'm pretty sure that's for when they sleep. You, like, tie them up yeah. like that. What? Adjustable Fucking canvas stupid. straps with Velcro. So then, Adjustable of course... Strap. Uh, Wait, could... hold on. It's yeah. for five-plus-year-olds, and <laughs> yeah. most likely... You're not going to start masturbating until you're like 14, maybe. I don't know. It depends who you are. I'm not I, judging. I'm pretty sure I've heard but, 10 is like the earliest I've heard of. But Jesus Christ. How can a 10-year-old find that out? I, I anyway. don't know, but yeah, sure. And um, it says with Velcro. Surely it's not that hard to get your hands out of Velcro when you're like 14. I don't think they're going to be strapping any 14-year-olds to this. It says five plus years, Josh. Like, and they're, they're, they're fucking called Childline if it was a teenager, I'm pretty sure. Like... Yeah. Or well, they'll perform an exorcist on you. <laughs> so... Back, demon! <laughs> Holy water everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, of course we continue to explore this Facebook page because it was having oh, so God. much fun laughing at the stupidity. And then we find this, this image of a, a supposed quote from Jesus. All right, here we go. This is from oh, Jesus is himself, everybody. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Are you addicted to masturbation? Reach out to me hey. and we can beat it together. Jesus. <laughs> they used the wrong word I know. There. <laughs> Whoops. Beat Cheers, it. Jesus. Thanks for that, thanks, man. Je- thanks, Jesus. We can beat it together. <laughs> <laughs> Someone did not check that. I know. Uh, I highly recommend anybody you with Facebook. Just go, just go check out. Like... Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against Christians or anybody of any religion. Like, that is nothing fine. Nothing wrong with Christians. If you're a nice person, I like you, but... But that... something... They always seem to have the strangest beliefs when it comes to... That is... That's self-belief. fucking retarded. You shouldn't have to strap your child up right <laughs> right that. Oh, yeah, there's also this other quote on there. It's like, don't self-rape your sin cave. 
Like what? What? That's fine. Anyway, we had a we had a lot of fun just laughing at that. So, yeah. You should make like an you should make like an opposite page and then link them to it. It's like a satanic masturbation page. <laughs> just have devils everywhere. That'd be funny. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, if you want to laugh, go check that out on Facebook. Um, Definitely go hit that up. Right, we've overrun heavily on the stories today, but that is that's fine. Extra long edition of the BritBots podcast. There's not very um, much game news, is there? Well, actually, Max, I got something for you. It's oh, it's been quite oh, a while okay. since we, okay. since we've done this tradition. I have biscuits. What do I have? Oh. If you if you guess at least, oh, I have two different types. If you guess at least one correctly, you can win yourself an anti masturbation cross shipped oh my right God. to your house. Okay, okay. Uh, is Three it guesses. Cir- oh shit. Okay. Is it circular? They are both circular. Is one a milk chocolate digestion? No. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, yeah, it is. Ah, yeah. Got the first one. And is the other one that, like, is it like a shortcake biscuit? Um, I think you just guessed both of them. Really? Max, you win two anti-masturbation oh crosses <laughs> sent to your it. door today. I did it. So happy! I want to thank my mum for teaching me not to masturbate, <laughs> and Lord Jesus for showing me that we can do it together. I love we could you be all. it together <laughs> forever. Oh God! <laughs> Yay! Right. Subscribe today for your chance to win one of my antique masturbation crosses. If we w- if we get two <laughs> likes on this video, you oh. two can win an anti masturbation cross. That is a deal. Right, games. Let's let's get on to games. So, I've been playing a bit of Hearthstone. Got back into Hearthstone with um Hearthstone. my friend Josh JPN. Um, because he, he's like a big fan of uh, card games. I believe he used to play Magic the Gathering. The Gathering. Mhm. I played um, that before. So I, w- when I told him it was a completely free game, Hearthstone, and he should give it a try. He was like, "Oh shit, I should give that a go." And uh, we pretty much basically there's not co-op in the game. You can fight each other, but you can't play on yeah. the same team. So what we do is we spec spectate each other. And then, like, help each other out and give each other, like, tips and stuff. Um, and, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun on that together. And opening packs, of course. Opening fucking car packs is fun. He's got addicted to the microtransactions. No, I haven't bought any, but... <laughs> oh, okay. In-game currency. I've been, <laughs> I I've been saving it up. <clears throat> FIFA. Oh, is that what you've been doing? <laughs> it's so addicting. No, I'm joking. It's <laughs> not that bad. I haven't spent... The cases, time. man. I need the gold kniff. Yeah, the gold kniff. The gold birthday kniff. So Max, what are you been playing? Um nothing different. <laughs> yeah, oh well, you know that uh present you got me for Christmas? I have been trying to figure out what games to get. Okay. I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe mm, uh Wolfenstein. I think I can get that. The new good order, choice. which does that, that looks good pretty choice. good. And maybe um, maybe Metro. Uh, uh, Last what? Light. Last oh, Light. okay. Well, can't you oh. get a bundle where it's both of them? I don't know. I'd have to look. Probably not, but... I don't know. <laughs> well, that that's that's good decisions. I'm glad you're not spending it on, like, fucking FIFA coins or some shit. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Josh. <laughs> what? No, what I'm joking. It? As in, like I was saying. Oh, oh right. Remind me. <laughs> get with the humour. I'm sorry. God. My brain's gone dead after reading that uh, Christian <laughs> page thing. <laughs> Just destroyed me inside. Right, so... Uh, the the kind of other major thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of games is the Division Closed Beta begins yes. tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. Much, much excite, many wow. Um, I get my mock exams tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, results. <laughs> Nearly all of them. So, wait. Are you nervous at all, or...? <laughs> There are only marks. There are only marks. Don't Fine. worry about it. Fine. I fail everything. Uh, 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 right. oh, well, st- at least I have my anti-masturbation cross. Yeah, at least you got that, eh? At least you got I something mean, out of this. <laughs> Alright, so Division Close Beta. Uh, one really cool thing is I got sent two codes because <gasps> Xbox loves me. Um, I don't know. They, uh, this happens Did you like give every, one to friends? every beta. Uh, no, because they already pre-ordered it together. So yeah, I pre-ordered it as well to get a code from Ubisoft, which I got today. Um, yeah. But yesterday, X- the Xbox Live rewards team sent me a code as well. 
clearly because I'm like YouTube famous or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess they do that for like every beta because they got one for Rainbow Six Siege as well. I guess they just send Xbox Live Rewards members huh, beta codes cool. or something. Uh, should... So yeah, I got two. So what are you going to do with... or something? I don't know. Yeah, giveaway actually. How long is the beta open for? Uh, four days on Xbox One, three on PS4 and PC. So you're going to try and like... Um... Do it today, like post on Twitter or whatever. Uh, yeah, I might do on Twitter. I might do a video. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, Be I, quick I, I about don't know. It. I literally just realised I got sent to today. So, what would you say uh, if I won the code? Well, you don't have an Xbox <laughs> One, so yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, be like, no, I'm not giving it to you. Oh, all right, fine. So yeah, me, yeah, me, great. JPN, and Grub, super excited for that. Um, and I also found out yesterday that there is officially no NDA on the beta, so I can make videos in it, I can stream it. Yay! So expect a lot of content on that game very, very soon. Streaming tomorrow, most likely. Uh, probably, actually, well, I have to go um, to college in the evening, so it's a bit awkward timing. Why did you have to go to college in the evening? Uh, you know, it's a Thursday, so you know I start oh, at like right, quarter yeah. to two till five or something. Uh, so I'll probably record something in the Thursday morning and try to upload it for the following day, or for there the same go. day. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's gonna happen. Awesome. Right. So I don't know if you've got any news, newsy type stuff at all. Hmm. Uh, I can't think of anything. Well, I got one. So oh. I was doing doing a bit of. Research quotation marks. Um, see, God. this this is why I need an anti masturbation cross because uh, um, I was I was doing some stuff which I really shouldn't. I was sinning um, with my right what? hand, and what? Uh, <laughs> why are you telling me this? Why are you telling? It leads to this? the story. Okay. Um, you don't need to give this much detail. You could have just said you were just looking at a Wikipedia page. <laughs> no, but you you understand why in a minute. So, <laughs> oh, God. When, when was it that I mentioned this before? That there was like a news article that popped up as well? I can't remember. It was ages ago. It was in another BritBox podcast. Yeah, I think you podcast. did Fallout 4. Yes. Oh, yeah. The leaked gameplay of Fallout 4 on a certain site. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it turns out this news heading came up like right near the top, which was Minecraft is one of Pornhub's fastest growing search terms. Wait, what? Are people searching for They're Minecraft They're 13 year olds. <laughs> Oh god. Want that, want that brick. Why humanity? Board. Why? So uh yeah, weird... I found that I found that Some pretty people funny. Are weird, man. <laughs> they some weird people. Like the video, there. you too could have an anti masturbation cross to start to you stop looking up Minecraft watching. porn. <laughs> <laughs> so the blocks, the pixels. For for research, obviously, and for for the oh, show. No, don't tell me you I look. had to search in there oh, to see no. what come up. Don't worry, it didn't. I didn't whip my dick out, all right. But I had to search it and see what came up when you typed in Minecraft. Did it come up? Yes. Oh. No. So you know, like shitty Minecraft machinimas on YouTube. Yeah. It was like that, but with just orgasm sounds over the top. Uh, it was like, oh god, this is <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, so really, bad. Really bad dubbed over ones. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Was there any like thing going on in the video? Or was it just sounds? I'm pretty sure in one of them they took like a, a a stick in Minecraft, they just stuck it in the genitalia area and just used yep. it like that. That that's that sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> so, I might have to research this later. I have to do some more research, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was pretty Funny, I found that it's pretty interesting to see what uh kids these days are getting up to. It's not interesting; it's horrifying. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little weird, but you know, I don't, I, I'm not gonna judge, right? Don't judge. D right? Do whatever you want. It's up to you. Just, just don't do it in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> don't involve us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, I think that's that's pretty much it, right? Question: As Max enters a hurricane or something. Wait, what? You're right. You like chuck your phone across your room or something. Oh, no, sorry. I dropped something. <laughs> uh, right. I believe you asked the question last time, Max. Yes, I did. It was, um, oh, what was it? Wasn't it like, uh, what is your aspirations in life? What's your life? What is your life ambition? And oh, that was it. Because we have the most amazing audience, no did one, no, no one answered. Not even <laughs> Skies, my friend. He, he ditched Why? us this time. I won saving grace. It's, it's Max's fault, isn't it? He, he asks shitty oh, yeah. questions. Um, oh, you ask a good question, then. Come on. Yeah, the problem is I don't I don't have one. I usually have one ready. Um, 
Pressure. Uh, that's all right. That's what editing's uh, for, isn't it? Um, oh, no, no, no. I've got one. I've got one that you could consider. All right. I saved you one time. You could save me this time. What method would you use to stop your child from masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> there you how go. Would you, how would you prevent that if you was an extremely how would you prevent uh, a child from masturbating? Christian, <laughs> not Let necessarily Christian, could be any religion. Oh, oh yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Why not? Um, there you go, guys. Let us know down in the comments if you actually made it this far. If you did, thank you so much. Don't forget to like for your free anti-masturbation cross coming in the post. Oh, yeah. You always soon. If we reach two likes, everybody that watched this video will get one. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more gaming stuff and podcasts where we talk about jack shit for half an hour. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.